history with the other great philosophers. Just side with Socrates. Uh, what's some more um, philosophers? Um, what's that white man? He's a great philosopher. Um, black Lyme. man explains the difference He's between black and negroes. Greek Greek? Eurymedes or something like that. Euro what negroes. I like how they spell that. How about Negro Damas? You heard him? Negro Damas? Negro Damas. That's a comedy sketch. But anyway, this is what this black man has to say about black people and niggas. <laughs> this point in my life, I don't want to live where niggas live. I don't want my kids playing where niggas play. I don't want them going to school where niggas go to school. And I damn sure don't want to go have fun anywhere near where niggas go to have fun. Notice, I'm using the word niggas and not black people. Believe it or not, there's a difference. I think I think everybody knows this. They just don't say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even black people know this. That's All black people know like this. Like, there's a signs between a black person and a nigga. Like, a nigga, they don't know how to wear their pants right. That's, that's <laughs> one of if you see a black man sagging, he's not... I never man. understood that. Pull up your fucking pants, man. It looks ridiculous. I think I saw that the first time in the 90s sometime, I think. Late 90s. Pull up your fucking pants. What the fuck, man? Considered a black a mer no, mer no, I want, He's no. considered. No, no. I, no, I don't think so. A nigga. No, uh, a lot of black people still sag just a little bit. No, you got nigga tendencies. But you st you're not a full blown one though. Well, how you become a full blown nigga then? You you a violent felon. You vote Democrat <laughs> regardless. And just when you hear Trump's name, you just start rapping that Donald Trump. <laughs> yep, Donald Trump. That that makes you Oh man, you gotta be more thorough. Man. Oh man. No, it's I, not I, even I, about politics. It's just, just the way you talk. <laughs> the way you talk, you can distinguish between a nigga and a black person. Uh, I would say it's between <laughs> the niggas. A lot of them is low IQ. Do you think that's why they're a nigga? Well, that, the reason why, well, let me say it like this. It's not that they got low IQ. They're just so damn ignorant. <laughs> oh, it comes off could like you say, could you say that the igas, because I, I can't say the N letter. I can only say igas. Could you say the Igas are the black version of uh, hillbillies? <laughs> you know, the black version of you ain't around from around here, boy. <laughs> like they got low IQ. They never like educated themselves. They never read a book. Oh man, you got the same chances and opportunities. Some of us start, you know, you know, no what? Some, I don't know nothing. Some of us start. You know, farther, higher, more richer, we have more opportunities, but we still have the, the, all the same opportunities. You just gotta work harder for it. The nigga has not learned how to circumvent, maneuver around the obstacles. That nigga will victimize himself, say it's the white man's fault. <laughs> right? Like you say in the ignorant, nah, nah, man, it's just, man, we got AI, we got this, this year 2020. Oh, okay, let's look at that for a while. The white man's fault. Meaning the white man is judging the Igas uh, for whatever reason, right? The white man may be thinking the Igas could be dangerous, you know, could be, you know, violent and stuff like that. So the Igas should then prove them wrong, right? Instead of reaffirming it, right? If the eager wants the white man or whatever to not look at him that way, he should be proving him, proving the white man wrong by by not not being an eager like that. You know what I mean? You know? If I go up to you and, and say, <coughs> hey, my Arab, what's up, my Arab? Don't think it would sound weird. Well, I, I listen, I completely agree with, you know, I don't even think about these things. Yeah, of course, if I see a black person, I, I see that he's black. The same way I see if somebody's white or yellow or whatever. But I'm saying... It's funny that you can't say a certain word. You can still say Arab, okay? 
and you can still say uh, Chinese or Indian or whatever, but you can't say the N word. That's the only thing that is protected when it comes to the sound, sound from your mouth. No? If you steal a nigga, no, man, you're not ignorant. You just, I, you lack capacity. You was dealt a bad hand. You lack brain cells. You can't help it. You need a disability check. You need every first of the month, you should get a nigga check. No, no I just think you fed in uh, the, the no, nigga. No, 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 no. The nigga fed into like this black subculture. Yeah. And they're just not educated. They're very ignorant. That's why they come off as low IQ. And I wonder how much of this has to do with rap. I don't care. I'm I'm gonna say this because I, I you know there is a correlation between being an igga with your pants down, right, and then listening to rap, right? There seems to be a, a some some relationship there between an igga and rap. Pants down and rap. Gun violence and rap. Rap, the only music genre that actually creates criminality. I've never seen any other music genre that creates criminality. Never seen that. Never seen that. If you drive your car like this, isn't that funny? Oh shit! You know, you leaning back like this, look like you at the dentist. <laughs> you lean like this, and yo, you can hear your music three blocks down. The road. <laughs> Stay away from that man. He's a full blown <laughs> nigga. I should do that when I was in the If you open the door for a man, and he happens to be African American, and he doesn't say thank you, that's a nigga. <laughs> Get away around him as fast as you can. I hate it when you open the door for somebody, and they're like. Fuck you, you know? Motherfucker, that's the last time I'm opening the door for you. If you are, if you're working at a company and a black man walks in and you ask him, so why you want your job? Well, I need to eat. <laughs> that's a full blown nigga. <laughs> in that conversation as soon as you can. If he's been with, if he's had, if he's been with, if he's got three baby mamas, that's a nigga. <laughs> Need to get way around him. Hey man, I can't. <laughs> Ross comes to mind. I got one baby mama over there. One baby baby mama over there. And with all kinds of examples. I like that one you said. He if goes. he's got a teardrop on his, a teardrop up yeah, there. Yeah, that goes fast. That is a violent nigga. <laughs> get way around that nigga as soon as possible. <laughs> oh. If that nigga sitting on the porch all day, waiting for his welfare check, that is a nigga. <laughs> <clears throat> Give some examples. If he's talk like Snoop Dogg, dressed like him, all his mannerisms like him. Mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg can't trust that guy. Can't trust that guy. That's a nigga from South Central. So you trying to say Snoop's a nigga? He ain't no. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you see him in a damn commercial selling beer and well, copy machines, he's well, still a nigga. Well, Snoop is a high class nigga. <laughs> well, y'all give me that. At least that nigga got yeah. some class. <laughs> Yeah, he got class. Yeah, you give him a pass. Some of that white money that rubbed off on him yeah, a little he, bit. Yeah, he's a high class nigga. You gotta give him a pass. I'm talking about these broke ass niggas. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you sit on your porch and you see a, a car drive down the road and you say, man, it's got a nice system in there. I'm gonna take your speakers. That's a nigga. If a cop comes to your door and you say, hey, man, I, the neighbor, he's a witness. And then the cop goes in and, and asks him questions about a crime. And he says, no, I'm new snitch. That's a nigga. Move out of that neighborhood <laughs> as fast as you can. Find you some nice turns to live around. Yep. It's just a. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, what? <laughs> Stop being a nigga. Let me say something. See, the niggas, they make it hard for good us, us good, us good black folk. Yeah, they do, man. They do. They seriously do. Because white people look at me and say, look, man, look, damn niggas. But man. yeah, with that said, you could say there is an ego in any, in every um, group of people. You know what I mean? That does exactly that same thing to the good people of that group you know yeah they think we're all the same yeah we're not we're no, not no. i'm a good i'm a good american i'm a you, patriot like they they uh like niggas say oh cops profiled me why do they profile black people you niggas have you seen the fbi statistics yeah that's why they treat you like that yeah like they when, need to shut up like when a cop 
does something bad to a black person, what do black people do? All white cops are bad. Yeah. So y'all allowed to profile white police officers, but white police officers can't pro profile a bunch of violent ass niggas. <laughs> Look, I think the FBI statistics. I Tell me what the statistics is. 50% of the violent crime I'm in this told. country, 50% of the violent crime in this country is committed by 6% of the population. Take a wild guess who that is. Niggas. You guessed it right. Niggas. That brings me to my point. The FBI need to update their statistics. Yeah. Yeah. You got white, you got Latino, you got uh, white Latino, whatever, whatever. You got black. Then you got black, and then it should be niggas. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we should, they shouldn't lump us with the black people. No. They, they, the, the, the statistics, it says, you know, Majority of the violent crime in this country is committed by African Americans. That's not, not true. Why do you say African Americans? I ain't no African Americans. Well, black Americans. That's how they well, get it right. I'm not African. I'm not saying I'm African. I'm and uh, also, it's funny that uh, this is a funny thing because how you dress actually, you know, puts you on the on on the map. Meaning, if you dress like one of these cribs or whatever they're called, they, these gangsters with these uh, things on their head and, you know, their pants down and whatever the fuck else, you know, how they dress, you will now become targeted by the cops or whatever. If that same cribs person dressed like a businessman, that if these cribs were, were smart, if they just dressed like a businessman, but still did their stuff, they would now be going under the radar, at least visually, you know?